Hey you lot, welcome to our channel. Remember to check out our other videos and you can subscribe if you like what you see. Hey everyone, I'm Laura from Cherub's Chalks Interiors. I'm a content creator for Dixie Belle Paint and today I'm going to show you how I created this gorgeous custom green using silk mineral paint. Here's how it all began. Originally I didn't intend to paint this, I wanted to give it a nice colour wash and just lighten the wood. However, when I looked closer there was a lot of repair work needed. As you can see a lot of the veneer was lifting, there were cracks and things that needed filling. So I removed the worst of the peeling veneer, glued down some other areas and now I'm just going to fill in these handle holes as I'm intending to change the hardware. I've already given this piece a real good clean before I started any of the repairs, so now it's time to get sanding. I'm just smoothing down the surface with my electric sander and taking off the top layer of varnish. Now as I do with every single project, I'm cleaning it all down with white lightning, which I've mixed with water in a spray bottle. I'm now coming back with plain water in my water mister and I'm just going to rinse off all of that white lightning to give a real clean surface. These little keyholes are gorgeous and I don't want to paint over them, so I'm just going to apply some masking tape and cut off the overhang using my Stanley knife. Now we're ready to paint, so here are the products that I've chosen for this piece. I'm going to mix my own colour using Mohave, Oasis and Midnight Green. I'm also going to apply some transfers to the side, which I'll seal with the satin clear coat, and then I've got some gold gilding wax for the handles. I was looking for a vibrant green for this piece, so I tried out a few different mixtures, which created a variety of greens which you can see here. They're all gorgeous, but the one I decided to go with was one part Mojave, one part Midnight Green, and one part Oasis. So here, as you can see, I've just used 100ml of each colour. I'll give that a good mix up and then it's ready to go. I'm looking for a really smooth finish here, so one of the best ways that I find to achieve that is by rolling it on. I also find this quite an easy, quick application. Obviously when rollering, you're applying thin coats, so you might need a few more coats than if you were using a brush. Once that's dry, I come back and apply the second coat using the same method with the roller. I use three coats in total for this piece. Now it's time to apply the transfer. I've opted for the Magnolia Gardens as I think that that goes really well with the colour that I've created. I'm cutting out all of the different sections so that I can select the flowers that I want to apply. Now I'm going to apply these to the draw sides. I've sanded and cleaned the wood prior to getting started. As you can see, I'm using the wooden burnishing tool to apply the transfer. This comes as part of the transfer pack. Now we're on to the next draw. As you can see, I'm popping them into position before burnishing them onto the wood. It's best to take your time when removing the clear sheet to make sure that all of the transfer has adhered to the wood. Once the transfer is applied, it's time to seal it in for protection. I'm using clear coat satin. And now I can remove the masking tape to expose that gorgeous keyhole underneath. And this is where the gold gilding wax comes in. I found these gorgeous handles that really suit the piece, however I don't like the colour of them. So I'm going to change them up with some gold gilding wax which I just apply with an artist brush, leave to dry and then buff off the excess. I've put it all back together, fitted the handles, and now she's looking gorgeous. This green is even better than I expected it to be, and I really love it paired with the gold of the gilding wax. It's such a fabulous combination. And I really think that the Magnolia Garden Transfer applied to the draw sides adds an extra special touch when the drawers are open.
Thank you so much for joining us today. Remember, if you'd like to see more of our projects, then you can go and find us on all of the social media platforms at Cherubs Chalks Interiors. I look forward to seeing you next time. Remember, you can also subscribe here on our channel to be notified when we next post. Bye for now.